Hello good friends let me tell you something in the facebook that you have to listen i am an english professor i am an international authority on environmental public speaking some of my friends asked me to respond properly to the time situation that is now taking place in puri by a government order 75 mm around the puri temple all the buildings all the mats monasteries all the humble houses are demolished my friends asked me to respond properly to the situation the government is telling that i am demolishing all these houses 75 meters around the puri temple to clean it properly so that there will be no terrorist attack that is the plea of the government let me now discuss the situation since i have got mastery in oratory in public speaking i have done research on it i am an expert in environmental public speaking i must tell you something about the oratory principles that were formulated in greece long ago there are different kinds of oratory public speaking rhetoric rhetor means public speakers in greek language the language of the greek of ancient times and there are three kinds of oratory one is demonstrative oratory one is deliberative oratory and one is judicial oratory now let me apply the techniques of judicial oratory in judicial oratory you appeal to the judges the people in authorities and you put forth your case just like a lawyer you put forth your case in nice points and you appeal to the good sense of the judges to give the verdict in your favor to give the verdict in favor of your client or the section of the community that you are representing now i am applying judicial oratory i am now appealing to the good sense of the judges honorable judges now i am putting forth a few important points for the good of the people of puri the ancient pilgrim town the town which is famous not only in india but the town the city which is famous all over the world foreigners have come at different times to puri over the centuries they have called the word jagarnath that word you will find in the dictionary they have written so many things about jagarnath temple jagarnath temple is not an ordinary place honorable sirs our india is one of the oldest civilizations in the world the first oldest civilization is mesopotamia the second is egypt the and third is india and fourth fifth these things are chinese civilization inca civilization in south america honorable sirs our is the only continuing oldest civilization in the world other civilization in the world they may be old they are existing in history but they are not not continuing and in that oldest civilization of the world surviving civilization of the world puri is one of the main centers it is the center of pilgrimage it is the spiritual center of the age old culture of india so it is a very important place it is an ancient place the temple is some 800 years old and uh, why bombay is important bombay is important because there are uh, very trains which are on at the speed of 200 km an hour bombay is important because it is a film city when you move in the city sometimes you will find a film star or a film hero in hither and thither and you will be excited bombay is important because there are many skyscrapers who scale up to the height of 35 50 story 60 story building and that is the importance of bombay that is the identity of bombay maran drive is its special attraction 
but why this rajasthan jaipur is important it is important because it represents the medieval civilization of india there were many kings and emperors in rajasthan now if you go there you will see palaces you will see murals on the walls wall paintings and you will find the cannon balls the cannons inside the palace premises and you find the folk dancing rajasthan you will find many bahubali like kings in rajasthan and unless and if you destroy that identity and even if you modernize jaipur will be of no value you may be modernizing it but at the same time you must try to retain its identity why is puri is important puri is important because it is a pilgrim city it is an ancient city there is lord jagannath there is the sea coast which sends out cool breeze into the city and many foreigners come here they appreciate it there are many monasteries there are many monasteries and therefore puri is important it is an ancient city today amar fort is destroyed by the government order it was a mart which was first of all established by the great prophet of india whose name is resplendent in the history of india his name is ramanujam he gave wonderful ideas to indian philosophy and they have now destroyed that mart which is 600 years old that mart had so many wonderful things inside it there were some granaries in 1866 when there was a great famine thousands of people died in different parts of india in odisha those people came to the mart they opened their granary they gave sacks of rice the people lived they ceased to be hungry that is a great thing you write down these things in before amar mart that will be more famous than puri temple itself that that will represent the tradition of the ancient pilgrim city see the most important identity of puri is that it is spiritual and it is ancient when you are destroying amar mart and other monasteries you are removing you are destroying the identity of puri puri will no longer be famous after the destruction is done people will rush to puri for two or three months to see the destruction sites but after two months they will think it is a useless place we shouldn't come here and they will no longer come here you will say the government will say we are preserving jagannath temple we are reading lord jagannath so why are you criticizing us we are destroying some monasteries so why are you not why are you uh, criticizing us but i will say jagannath is not happy about it you go to a big man and tell sir we are preserving you but you are killing your sons that big man will not be happy with you then you will ask me sir that in the age of science why are you talking like that how jagannath becomes happy jagannath doesn't doesn't become happy you tell in a scientific way yes sir in uh, it is an irony when i say that jagannath is not happy it means that the tourists and pilgrims who come from different parts of india and want to see jagannath to pay their obeisance to jagannath they will not be happy when they don't see the ministry the monastery the wonderful library which has not only a seat of religion it was a seat of learning there are so many books and science grew out of it literature grew out of it and the cultural things grew out of it so they are not ordinary places jagannath will not be happy and my second point is that demolishing all the house 75 meter around jagannath temple even the humble houses monasteries and by clearing it you are exposing jagannath lord jagannath to more terrorism how how will it be you will ask me actually sir terrorism comes to a place when the people give the terrorist shelter those 70 those people surrounding jagannath temple they are born devotees they are born in puri no terrorist will be sheltered by them 
and that is the greatest protection. But if we take out, if we destroy all the buildings, what will happen? Still, there won't be security. It cannot be a more secure place than the military barracks. In the military barracks in North India, we have seen it is highly secured, highly protected, but the suicide bombers, the human bombs entered into it and killed hundreds of soldiers. Such instances are there. And the way you think and the way you want to provide protection to Lord Jagannath is faulty because it is never more secure than the military barracks. The military barracks which were attacked by the terrorists, the human bombs. So these people whom we are driving out, they are actually human seeds. If the rebels will be fighting with the government, they put some children in front of them. The government soldiers will not like to kill the children, shoot the children. That is the human seed. The children are the human seeds. And you are removing the human seed. That is a very oh, bad thing. So you must understand things in a deeper way. Otherwise you can't understand things. My third point is that the real threat is not terrorism to Lord Jagannath. The real threat is storms like Fani, Hudud, Phileen, which have come to the Odisha coast. Recently, Fani came and it destroyed some portions of the Jagannath temple. If a greater Fani comes someday, the whole of Jagannath temple will be smashed and Jagannath will not be there. So the greatest thing is to stop global warming so that you can stop the frequency of storms. Even if there will be a storm, it will be low intensity storm of scale 2, level 2 or level 3. It would be a storm of level 5 or level 6. They are very longer things and I don't have time to describe it. Storms measured in the rector scale and the, first of all there should be coastal vegetation, mangrove plantation, that is how we protect the storms, stop the storms. During the super cyclone around the Odisha coast at some places there were dense mangrove plants and at those places the super cyclone could not do much harm. But other places where there were no mangrove plant, the super cyclone did a lot of damage. Thousands of people died. Some 10,000 people died during the super storm which took place along the Odisha coast 20 years ago. So let us now fill up the vegetation that we have lost in Puri, like in all the margins of lands. There should be trees, palm trees, coconut trees. The economy of the people will increase and that will improve the environment. And even if global warming destroys many places in the world, at least 100 more years will live. Because we will create a nice micro environment in Odisha, which will protect Jagannath. The micro environment will protect Jagannath. Not killing people, not destroying buildings. Around 75 minutes around Jagannath will protect Jagannath. Dear friends, Guy McPherson, the professor of Arizona University, has said after 10 years, there won't be oxygen on Earth because of global warming. Because of global warming, the North Pole will melt and there will be swampy land visible. From that swampy land, methane will come. And the methane will combine with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. So there will be no oxygen at all. When two people are cleaning a sewage scam, methane is coming out. Methane is killing the two laborers. Such instances we have read a lot. So let us be very cautious. And so let us change our point of view in accordance with the principles that we learn from science, environmental studies, environmental science. And that is how we should change our decision making process. We will say, we will say, we will just change our decisions because our survival is more important. Jagannath says, Oh, you human beings. As long as human beings there are there, God is there. But if you human beings will be extinct, there will be no God. God will be there somewhere, in some star, in some planets, elsewhere, where there will be human beings. God not in India, not in the globe. Goodbye. Good luck.